is a video response for uh, Pixel for Life's CSS drop-down navigation menu. Uh, he did a great job on that. Um, however, I got a little confused and I didn't get to see the flow of the CSS as he was creating um, that CSS code. Um, so I didn't really get to see the progression, I only got to see the end result. Um, so that's what this video is for. So right now I've uh, uh, created uh, some un unordered lists and I have copied um, his CSS from his uh, website pixelforlife.com and I'm basically going to um, apply this new CSS onto uh, this page, um, but only one little block at a time so that we can see the progression. So I'm just gonna do that and then refresh it in every step so that we can see what uh, part of the CSS is affecting uh, what elements on the page. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'll start off with uh, the body and I'll just paste that in here and save that and refresh this. And so already we see that the font has changed, the background's changed. Um, let's see, look at the color here for the tags, for the links. <coughs> Excuse me. So now they're black, and now we have the uh, navigation div, which encompasses this all of the unordered lists. And refresh that, so that doesn't look great at this point, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Now this is affecting the navigation div and the um, LIs in there. Let me save that and refresh this. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to change um, <coughs> the anchors to uh, white just because it's hard to see. And there we go. <clears throat> so the main thing here is that we uh, uh, the LIs are floating to the left and um, therefore that is the big change from uh, these being uh, in a vertical fashion to changing to a, a horizontal fashion. Um, so that's the big thing there. <clears throat> Now we're getting a little bit more specific and we're going to be changing the anchor tags within the nav div, changing the font weight to bold, changing the color, text decoration to none, and display block. I believe that's going to do some different things. Padding, margin, okay, so let's see what that does. Okay, that... Um, Basically, space it out a bit more, I believe. Um, that also affected, let's see here, the products are now uh, not just floating left, it looks like. It's probably the display block that's affecting that. If we delete that. And then refresh that. Yeah, that's that's what that's doing. Okay, so let me just put that back there. <clears throat> okay. So now we are going to change when you hover over the links. Uh, we're going to change the background color and the color of the links. So made the background darker and made the 
link itself uh, the text white whiter yeah that's white yeah okay so now this CSS is Um, the nav div, uh, the current class, which is right here, and when we hover over and the, uh, yeah, gosh, I'm not really familiar with this, but I believe it's the parent of the anchor. So let's see what that did. <coughs> Okay, so that basically made change the got it. Okay, so what what it looks like this did was um, change the current uh, class, which is uh, uh, we see is is the login um, li and ui under there. <coughs> to have a different background and uh, color and to have a top border and it's also affecting um, the, the li hover for the anchors so if I hover over products or anything under products that's what is changing there okay so that's good to know okay now this let's see what this does nav ul li hover a so now this is just changing the when you hover over the links I think and li hover li okay so this is the uh, sub menus I believe so let's save that refresh okay so now if we're hovering over it changes the li's so that's what that was changing okay <clears throat> So this is the nav ULs when we hover over the links. It's going to change the color of the text. Ah, okay. So now if we hover over a specific UL link, it'll change the color there. Okay. And let's see here. So nav li hover greater than ul display block. Let's see what that does. That didn't really change anything uh, that I can see right now, but I'm sure that it did. So, nav ul, display none. Okay, so this is going to hide it, I believe. Position absolute, top left, different colors. So, let's see what that does. That's the big one right there. <clears throat> so, let's see if we log in. Oh, that is great. That's beautiful. So that's the big one right there. So let's take a look at that. So <clears throat> basically we're saying that since this is above this one here, um, 
this will have precedence over this one when we actually th this one will be the last the last one there since it's cascading down this will take effect last um, so that'll that'll be the one to show up and then if we uh, do something else the hover then it'll display the block so that's what we see here when we hover it displays the block <clears throat> okay and we're almost done here it looks like so now getting down a little bit further nav ulli let's see if that changes anything okay so that didn't uh, change anything specifically visual but I'm I know that that changed the float <coughs> so let's get in here so nav ul a <coughs> See what that does. Okay, so that made that change the font weight from bold to normal. Okay. And last but not least, nav ul ul basically changing uh, the sub menus uh, position to not appear right below but from the side I'm guessing there we go all right well um, thanks for watching my video response and I hope that this was helpful for you as much as it was for me